Meghan Markle's secret lifeline to Dad Thomas revealed I was shocked. Meghan Markle was revealed to have maintained a lifeline to her former life in the United States and to stay in contact with Father Thomas Markle if needed. Meghan Markle's friends this week revealed the Duchess of Sussex has kept her phone number unchanged since marrying into the royal family in May 2018. Meghan and Father Thomas Markle are known to have become effectively estranged since he reportedly worked with paparazzi to stage pictures before her nuptials to Prince Harry, forcing the retired television lighting director to miss out on attending the ceremony in Windsor. In a revealing interview to People, close friends of the Duchess of Sussex said that, despite claims Thomas had tried to get in touch with Meghan, he's never called, he's never texted. Asked about the most shocking revelations from the inside full anonymous interview with Meghan's friends, royal expert Emma Ginn Lloyd Webber admitted to feeling shocked the Duchess had maintained a lifeline to her dad through her phone. Mys Lloyd Webber said, she hasn't changed her phone number. Her father can get in touch with her. That was shocking to me. One of Meghan's friends insisted Thomas Markle can get in touch with the Duchess but has so far failed to do so despite claiming in several interviews he texts her every day. The longtime friend said, he knows how to get in touch with her. He's never called, he's never texted. It's super painful. It's super painful because Meg was always so dutiful. I think she will always feel genuinely devastated by what he's done. And at the same time, because she's a daughter, she has a lot of sympathy for him. Meghan Markle's confidant insisted Meghan and Prince Harry had tried to have Thomas attend their wedding despite the revelation he had helped paparazzi take fake pictures of him before flying out to the UK. She continued, Meghan and Harry were still so focused on getting Tom to London. At no point was there talk of now that we know he lied, he's in trouble. Tom wouldn't take her calls, wouldn't take Harry's calls. The next morning when the car got there to take him to the airport, he wouldn't get in. The longtime friend said, he knows how to get in touch with her. He's never called, he's never texted. It's super painful. It's super painful because Meg was always so dutiful. I think she will always feel genuinely devastated by what he's done. And at the same time, because she's a daughter, she has a lot of sympathy for him. Meghan Markle's confidant insisted Meghan and Prince Harry had tried to have Thomas attend their wedding despite the revelation he had helped paparazzi take fake pictures of him before flying out to the UK. She continued, Meghan and Harry were still so focused on getting Tom to London. At no point was there talk of now that we know he lied, he's in trouble. Tom wouldn't take her calls, wouldn't take Harry's calls. The next morning when the car got there to take him to the airport, he wouldn't get in. Later Meg heard he had a heart attack and she's calling and texting, even up to the night before the wedding. It was like, please pick up. I love you, and I'm scared. It was endless. Prince Charles ended up escorting his new daughter-in-law down the aisle to meet Prince Harry. Meghan and her paternal side of the family are known to have a fraught relationship with the Duchess reportedly crying after discovering half-sister Samantha Markle planned to write a book about their relationship. Samantha said the book will cover everything from behind the scenes that the world does not know about. Meghan, who is now seven months pregnant, is thought to have last seen her sister in 2008 and her brother Thomas Markle Jr. in 2011. Both have spoken publicly about their royal half-sister, especially to ask her to reach out to her father, Thomas Markle, Sr. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.